Hello, everyone. Uh, I am uh, Chris Soft Candle, and it is such a treat for me as a kid. As a kid, I loved comics as we all did, and I think we all can agree that Peach Horn is a character that we all just were fascinated with. Kids talk about Peach Horn on the on the school playground, and we all kept saying. We want more Peach Horn. We don't know enough about Peach Horn. And the fact that we are getting a Peach Horn show on HBO Max and the CW and the DC Universe, I couldn't be more thrilled or honored to be part of this panel. I'm the moderator today. And we have showrunner, director here, Walter Lenz, who's going to be taking... Here he is. Give him a big round of applause. Around. Walter Lenz bringing, bringing this to life. Thank you, Walter. So happy to see you, Walter. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hey. Great. Great to be here. Great to be here. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, writers aren't necessarily readers. <laughs> um, you know, that's a joke we have in the writer's room, but uh, it's an honor to be here. It's great being in Hall I. Thank you, Walter. Thank you, Walter. Um, uh, what... What first inspired you to, you know, dive deeper into Peach Horn? Um, you know, the unbelievable Peach Horn is a lot of people's first connection to the comic world. You know, he was second fiddle for so long um, to, uh, you know, you name it. He was only, you know, shoved in the corner of all these panels. And we really thought, you know, that really reflects how so much of America feels today. They feel like, uh, you know... I'm not getting respected enough. I'm not, uh, you know, my tweets aren't getting enough retweets. You know, we wanted to tap into that level of primal energy. Um, and so what we did with this show is just kind of give the unbelievable Peach Horn, um, you know, the, the respect it deserved because it's really important. It's really important. And uh, I think what we wrote for this show is so good it kind of it kind of fucks your day up. Um, I I've seen some clips and you're right. Um, but I would be remiss. We've all been waiting for this moment. We have Peach Horn himself here wow. today. Actor Stephen Abel is here. We got him here, and he is going to talk to us more about Peach Horn. Come on out, uh, uh, wow. Stefan. Wow, Steph Stephen. He's not, he's not ready. Show clip, not ready. Okay. Oh, he's not ready. Okay. He's not ready. Do we he's have? Not ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, the, you know, as in production, things happen and, uh, you know, you have to take, obviously the world, what it is right now, you have to kind of roll with the punches. And that is almost kind of like tied into really the character of Peach Horn. Please cut the music, please. Um, we really value his stories and the storytelling in those comics. We wanted to do it justice. Uh, we have a clip with us uh, for um, one of the first episodes this upcoming season that we're really excited about. Um, and this clip sort of shows uh, how far Peach Horn is willing to go for freedom, for justice, and it also showcases his powers in a way that we've never really seen before off the 2D page and onto the screen. Uh, so this clip, I, I, I think, best showcases what you're going to be seeing in our new series. I'm really excited about this clip. We spent a lot of time on it. So uh, this is an exclusive for everybody. Check this out. He stole my wallet! Peach Horn, he stole my wallet! So that just kind of gives you, really, it's wow. it's kind of a taste of, you know, it's the classic adage, with great power, you you must be careful. And that's the classic quote, um, Bill Finger. And I really like his work, and I think that he has got it going on. Just, just let me say, seeing that. I mean, I'm not getting emotional, but it's, yeah. I'm getting close. It kind of, it's like I said earlier, it kind of fucks your day up. 
kind of fucks your day up because you're not used to seeing something so deep on television, you know, in the shut it in the shut it off, shut your mind off world. Yeah, um, we're doing something to kind of uh, how do you say it? It's it, it's even almost kind of a waste of time to try to explain it. It's um, you want to raise the bar. Um. Yes. Uh, are we? Are, uh, I understand. Without we, further ado, we might though, have a special guest here. We have a special guest who I'm told is ready. Stefan Abel, welcome to the stage. It's exciting stuff. This is so exciting. All right. How's it going, man? So good. Star of so the good. show. So good. It's good oh, stuff. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hello, Mega 64 Expo. Yeah. There we go. All right. I love that. I love that, I love that Hello, show. Hello, Mega 64 Expo. <laughs> Yum. Who the fuck is this? Okay. Well, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm the blam see, here. Yeah. Oh, so see, this Stephen is Abel. For, for that hack forgive from me. Arrow. Sorry, he's not the Peach Horn. He couldn't be Peach Horn. Okay. In a Peach Horn porno parody. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have the chops. That hack. Okay. I'm a yam. <laughs> descendant from my father. Yeah, I'm the blam, the first. Yeah, this Enough is, about me. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Talk about Peach Horn. See, this is kind of this is kind of what we deal with on the set <laughs> a little bit. Um, you know, we uh, we have a lot of fun, and, and just with uh, with this guy here, I, I don't think anyone else could have brought the. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to fix that. We're gonna call. Uh, that's more Mike. like that's more like what I remember from the set. Yeah. Technical difficulties, All right. but we we worked through them. <laughs> Um, I really wanted to kind of, uh, if you guys uh, are cool with this, if the crowd, if the crowd uh, wants to watch it, we ha we do have another clip, and uh, uh, you know, again, there's more than one side to the Peachorn character, and we wanted to show it all in this. And uh, this next scene I really like because it's more of a showcase of the drama behind the characters, uh, the emotions, and and all of that are really the critical part of the story. Uh, I'm in the scene as well. I, you know, uh, guilty as charged. I cast myself, uh, and this is a scene between me and uh, Peach Horn's alter ego, obviously uh, Peter Horndo, and no one knows it's him, and that kind of creates some fun play in the story. Yes, wonderful character. Um, Amazing depth when you play a character named Peter Horndo. What an honor. Yeah, and uh, and obviously you are running, uh, you're a social media manager, and uh, he does such a great job. It's like he just he he just gets yeah. so into it. So this scene really showcases the drama, and I just really think it's important. <clears throat> yeah. and, and it and it tells an important story. Peter Horndo, social media manager for the local newspaper, a very important job. So uh instead uh, and uh, we have a clip of it. Uh here it apparently. is. Hey, Peter Horndo, how's the social media going? Hey boss! Social media is going good. I keep posting these pictures of Peach Horn. Everybody loves them, and nobody knows how I get them. I found out I have a learning disability. That's okay, boss. A lot of people have things that they need to overcome in life. <sighs> I've been playing Minecraft so long. I'm just that dumb. Oh, you're not dumb. Boss, I would never work for somebody who was dumb. You're a smart guy. Thanks, Peter Horn, though. You're the real superhero. Not like that Peach Horn guy. I heard he touched someone. Not an adult. What are you talking about? He messaged a 10-year-old on Stardew Valley. Where did you hear this? Who my, said that about My mom just texted all the details to me. Uh, you just reminded me, boss. Unrelated to this conversation, I have an appointment I need to go to. Alright, see you later. I wish I was smarter. <clears throat> okay, um... Yeah, that, yeah. that was... Wow. Mm. That, there, was some heavy, there was some heavy things. So, if you follow the heavy. news, you've probably heard of Epstein. And yeah. we just wanted to... It taps into it. Tap into all that 
Just like Dateline yeah. rips from the headlines, just like Law yeah. and Order, yeah. Peach Horn hits with the contemporary news. We don't sugarcoat it on Peach Horn. It taps into real stuff. It taps into real stuff, and it's honestly, frankly, it's scary. It's scary how much we nailed it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and that looked just like the comic. Right. Just like it. Yeah. Well that, done. Yeah. That that scene was iconic. We wanted to nail it and to, to kind of get every bit of it. I never read the comic, but yeah. a lot of people told me that it meant a lot to them. And I just. And by the way, spoiler alert, Peach Horn was innocent. He was framed. So. Well, we don't want to give away. To, before you. Don't want to give away too much. So. Before you start Twitter storming about us, we got it right in mm -hmm. the show. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know if we have another clip. I do have a question from the audience. We want to take that, or oh, we can do a clip. Uh, we can do. We uh, yeah, we have some Q and A. Okay, &A uh, you, you over there in the uh, the cat costume. Hi. Um, my question was for Walter Lenz, the showrunner of the program. Yeah. And hey. you just seem to be a little hesitant, revealing that Peachhorn is innocent, when clearly the source material in the comics has laid the entire storyline out in the first five books. Um, I'm just, my question is to you is, have you actually read the comics that the show you're running is based off of? I'll of course. Uh, yield the rest of my time. Yeah. Um, of course I, you know, obviously I'm very close to the source material and, uh, read it, you know, there's, uh, comics have pictures, they have words and, uh, you don't necessarily have, um, I, you know, it's all important. You don't have. It's great, and I love, I love, uh, I love my job. I want to keep it. Great, thank you sure very much for the question. The um, we have you. another clip I would really like to show. If everyone out there, uh, you know, if the fans, if the fans want to see it, if you don't, you don't want to see it, or you do, okay. Um, and I if the fans want to hear about what's going on in the in the tabloids between me and my ex-wife, okay. Uh, <laughs> Mind your own fucking business. Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> the show is clean. I promise. We'll, we'll we're not gonna um, go into that stuff. But this next clip I really like because what Peach Horn is always trying to do, and what the folks at DC are trying to do, because this is DC, Superman, Batman, Peach Horn, they're all one and the same. And uh, I really like this part because it's action. This is an action scene like you would expect, but it kind of turns it on its ear. And again, it shows you a different side to his powers in a way, uh, you know, I don't want to say too much about it, but I really like it's action, but it's provocative. And let's see that clip if we can roll that. Okay, so um, that really was... Can we get the camera? Thanks. Camera on me. Uh, that really was just our way of showing that not every confrontation is going to go the same way. You know, there's a lot of different layers to it. Almost too many layers to count, and that's because of uh, us. We, uh, we did that good. I, I, I don't... You know, usually I let the audience ask questions, but I just have to know, like, sure, the course. effects are incredible, yeah. what we've seen so far, and I think we all are blown away. Yeah. What, uh, if you don't mind, what was the budget for this product? Because it looks phenomenal. You did a uh, great job. Well, uh, <laughs> it's that stuff's always complicated, and, you know, they always, as uh, Fabio once said, gentlemen, does not say the price, uh, you know, uh, but uh, actually Fabio did work on the show, so... Uh, you know that's kind of exciting too. He's going to show up. He's got a little. He's got a little bit of a cameo. I'm just kidding. Um, we didn't get him anywhere near it. Oh, the budget was. Um, yeah, it was a couple million. Can I take the chance to make an announcement? Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is the face of Jan de Blam. This is the face of Fast Nine. Oh. Whoa! Oh, okay. are, you, are you saying this, that you uh, are going to be in Fast Nine, Yam de Blam? Oh, okay. I was cast. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, Everyone, that's cool. round that's of cool. applause for hey, him. Good for you. Hey, the hey, the the. I, I really want to say the Fast and the Furious franchise is one of the biggest on the planet right now, and I could not be more honored to know my man here. Thank you so much. That's and so and so. I will not be in season two of Peach Horn. Oh. Well, you, you never know. Uh, you never know what will happen. I don't know if now is the, seems like the best time to, to tell you, Walter. Now you know, and now you know. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, you never know. Again, you know, hey, live TV. Can what can I say? This is a, a live panel. But, and since uh, I will not no longer be working with you, Walter, you were a prick to work with. Okay. Okay. Um, Oh man! Oh, then you're talented. You're a you're a talented prick. Yeah. You're a talented prick. Okay. Uh, and so it's a compliment. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, this is really exciting. You know, my friend. I say that because we're friends. Yeah, we are. We are good friends, and that's great to hear because we are. I know that we are good friends, and you didn't even need to tell me. I knew it. Um, but uh, it's been such a trip working on this show. I want to play another. Um, we'll talk. We're going to talk about this, but while, while we do that, we're going to play another clip. And this is again another. Again, I, I keep hearing uh, people talk about this. Okay, Michael, we're going to fix that. It's called gaffer's tape. Uh, we have uh, another scene that again, people are always telling me uh, what I like about this character in this show is that it goes there. It doesn't shy away, and this is uh, controversial. I hope you can. Is this uh, is this being live streamed? Because I hope uh, <laughs> I hope they don't uh, take you down here. But uh, this really kind of sums it up. And I think uh, I think my man here is going to be coming back next season. When you see this scene, it's going to be hard to do uh, it. <clears throat> we'll see. You just play the clip. Is there something you want to ask? Yeah, I want to tell you how upset I am. I get the feeling like. Say to me, I'm upset. What's the next step? Well, I'm not happy. Now what? Thank you. Uh, you know, it, it, you're really not kind of sure which way it's going to go. Now, let me ask everybody out there, was it good? Because it was directed well, or because it was acted well. The producers of Fast 9 say it was the acting. Okay. It, cool. it is apparent cool, cool. to a fan, just an impartial fan here, that the quality of this show is definitely on par with all the other CW shows, and I yep. am very excited for this. This is going to be terrific. This uh, is terrific. Yeah, well, thanks. Thank you. Um, I didn't want to do this. Uh, well, I, I did want to do this panel. I love the, I love this panel. I love you guys so fucking much, and uh, it's I feel the love in Hall Eye. But um, the next thing I wasn't planning to do, but I might as well uh, un unleash the dragon. Um, this season, season one of the Unbelievable Peach Horn, is going to. I'm just. This is a world exclusive. It's going to end. On an on an after credits scene, after credits cliffhanger. Um, what? Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, I know. <laughs> get ready for get ready for season two. But uh, I've looked forward to seeing what that scene is. Okay, we're gonna show it. Um, you, I'll just say this now: you're not gonna know who this character is because you haven't seen season one. It's not it hasn't aired. But once you later, when you know who it is. This scene is going to be insane. Um, go ahead, play it. Okay, so how fucking you, dare you, Walter? How fucking dare you? So how fucking dare you put that character in? I w he was. N that is not. That is not fucking season one, and that is not what we talked about. It. Well, it is uh, you editorially son of a bitch, contractually. Walter, you're trying to fuck up my Fast Nine deal, aren't you? No. You fucking. You're no, trying to undermine me, aren't you? No, we we. You're uh, trying to make Peter Horn not the main character. We want to give. We want to give the fans everything that they want, and uh, everyone was yeah. really excited about. Tell them what that character's name is. Tell them. 
Tell um, them. Tell, I dare you to tell them. Uh, Crazy Kirk will be showing up in the new season uh, of in season two of. It's just meant to be a teaser of uh, things to no, come in season two, and we're hoping that Peach Horn returns to fight him. It's fine. Panel's not even over. You think I'm leaving? That's not how a class act leaves. Panel's not over. Sit down. All right. Um, well, let me fine. just, it's as the moderator, a tell you that... Um, it's just meant to, well, let me just say, it's meant to just build suspense on why is this finger not the same size as it is in the original Yeah, comic. I think it's great. Mm. Crazy Kirk is a great character. And I love Crazy Kirk. Well, And Crazy Kirk would have been great to have a full season to introduce him. Mm -hmm. we, well, we, I mean, it might, it might happen in season two if we all come back for it. We do have a question from the audience. If... So let's go. Yes, go ahead. You. Hi. Oh, hello. How you doing? Good. Stephen Amill. I am the president doing of the New Jersey Chapter Fan Club. Hello, Stephen. And I would love to hear your thoughts on the latest gossip. You and uh, sadly your ex-wife are in a bit of a oh, pickle. No. Oh, God. And I just wonder if you could clear any of that up for us. I <sighs> so want to know. <clears throat> Walter, we don't. We can talk about Peach Horn. But what we'll not talk about is my personal life. And, um. And that's all I have to say about that. Yeah, we're gonna, um. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I didn't it, mean to upset you. I think I heard you say something about season two. We are no, getting excited about. Uh, yeah, it's okay. We're excited. We are excited about season two because I think we're also gonna have a cameo from. Blake, <gasps> Officer Blake, <laughs> from, from, yeah, from the Dark Knight Rising. He is gonna. Um, he's not. He didn't. He found all of Batman's stuff. This is what we're gonna find out. Mm. He found all of Batman's stuff. He didn't use any of it. And played by the wonderful, charming Kurt Hammett. Yeah. Pleasure to work with. Uh, please let's get past the, what just happened and. And, yeah. and Officer Blake is a wonderful character, and Peach Horn is fun. Kirk Hammett was a great choice because what we found ourselves doing is, you know, you're always looking towards kind of a similar pool of actors, but with Kirk Hammett, you know, he reached out and he said, hey, we're not allowed to flip our tickets on StubHub anymore um, since the Rona. What do we do now? And we said, well, try acting. Do we have a clip? No. <laughs> Shit. No, that was that was it. <laughs> so, w you know, this is how, you know, we don't want to spoil the whole show, but now you've seen af the after the credits scene and you have a taste of what season 2 is going to be like. And I just want to say thank you. This crew has been the most amazing crew. And I just I love I fucking love you guys so much that it it drives me nuts. I think about you guys so much. It's like it's psychotic. I I just want to say uh, thank you to everyone for coming to our Hall I panel. Thank you to Yam DeBlam and Walter Lenz here. Everyone give a big round of applause. Do you guys have any final words you want to end on? Um, uh, we got to protect our billionaires. Uh, Steve, uh, Steve Jaw, or uh, who's alive? Bezos. We got to take care of that guy because he, who's even heard from him during this? And he's probably, he's probably been infected. So we got to look out for that guy. Buy Amazon. I believe my fans <clears throat> will stand by me no matter what I do. And they will be happy to see me in Fast 9 and Peach Horn. And perhaps even in Peach Horn Season 3. The return of Yam de Blam. Thank you. I'm so excited for that. Everyone. For the, uh, Peach Horn for the win. 
<laughs> I am Chris Soft Candle, and thank you for our panel. Thank you for our panel guests. And you can check out Peach Horn on the CW, HBO Max, or the DC Universe coming later this fall, 2020. And on CISO. We're coming to CISO. And CISO a cannot year, wait. A year later. It is my pleasure, my honor, and my duty to say good night.